You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to an A to Z English quick chat. Jack and I are going to surprise each other with a topic for the day and see where the conversation goes. Check our site for a study guide with vocabulary notes and discussion questions, as well as links to our WhatsApp, Facebook, or other social media where you can join the conversation. And today, Jack, what what topic do you want to talk about? Well, today I've got an interesting one, and this is from uh, one cool. of our listeners as well. And the topic is your favorite things, but not just your favorite things. Your favorite things and addictions. Things favorite things and are, addictions. Yeah. What are your What are your addictions? Um, things that you you know, things that you just have to do, and uh, that you know that relax you and and make you uh, you know when you have some downtime, when you're not working, when you have like a little I'll, bit. Of I'll extra say time. one one addiction um, that I've I've managed to break, but I had for for when I was in university and it was a fun thing to do is I, and I still enjoy this, but it's not as bad is playing a lot of computer games. Mm-hmm. And I still enjoy playing games. I have my Nintendo next to me and, and there's some amazing games on it. And when I've got some downtime, it's, it's great. But the, the bad, the worst thing when it was really an addiction is when I was playing um, MMO RPGs, massively multiplayer online role-playing games. And um, those games are very addictive. Yeah. And I would just play them for hours and hours and hours at at a time. And I mean, they're fun. I had a great time playing them. I made some friends. I made friends in the games. But I remember as well, sometimes my not in-game friends, my, you know, real life friends for lack of a better word, would call me and say, hey, Kev, do you want to go do something? And I was like, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, you know, playing this game. I'm in a dungeon. I'm fighting a, a dragon or whatever. Wow, that's uh, a problem. My friends, yeah. yeah, my friends just be like, really, Kevin? C- come on, let's, c- come on, let, let's go do real things. And it's like, oh, sorry, I'll just 15 more minutes, you know, and five hours later, it's, yeah. uh, I'm done. Uh, fortunately, I've broken away from that just because those games take a lot of time, like hours and hours for one session. You can't play for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And I just don't have that kind of time anymore to to devote to it. If you could be a professional Twitch streamer, like a a real online game gamer, would you do it? Would that be something you would like to do? That's interesting. I've never thought about it. I don't know if I have the personality to do it, but then again, we are recording ourselves and submitting it to the internet now <laughs> right. um t- twitch streamers have a very different they're they're very you know upbeat and active kind of personality uh i don't think i could do it quite as a job i i think still it was fun to be able to do it as a a way to relax and not think about any stress yeah um, that's why i like games to to de-stress more than than add stress and once it becomes a job it's not fun anymore what was your first gaming unit like what was the you know what started you on this path were you like oh, a nintendo I, my... <laughs> like regular nintendo sega genesis the original the original nintendo the nintendo entertainment system the nes yes, way back in the day i was a huge addict as a kid uh when it came to nintendo yep you know yeah. i we got that my, remember i'm a few years younger than you so we got the nintendo a little bit later but mm-hmm. that was still our first gaming system okay. and my brother was almost more of a gamer than me. I remember a couple of times we'd get a new game and it would, it would be a Christmas game, for example, a Christmas gift. And we'd go to bed Christmas night. My brother and I would play for a few hours. Then I'm like, I'm tired. I go to bed. I'd wake up the next morning and my brother's like, he's still on the sofa playing. And oh, he's like, wow. Kevin, I beat the game. It's like, we've had the game for 12 hours, Brian. Take, <laughs> take a rest. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, that was that was where my gaming addictions started. What about uh, you? Was, though? What are your favorite things or addictions? Well, I'll I'll, I'll I have I'll I'll go back to when I was young. I did have a gaming addiction. I, I think I had a problem with Nintendo, and uh, I remember um, a, a a game called Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I don't know if you ever. <laughs> I know it. It's a boxing it. game, 
And yeah. I was, I got so good at beating Mike Tyson. I could beat, I could beat the whole game in like, you know, 15 minutes or whatever. Nice. Um, because there's like a code you can cheat to go to the end uh-huh. and just play him. And I could also beat uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, in about, you know, 15 minutes. I could go from start to finish and, and save the princess. Um, and then uh, suddenly I stopped playing games. I just I lost interest in it as I got a little bit older, uh, became teenager, um, high school student. Um, my these days, my my personality is very I get very obsessed with with things Um and so I would say, well, my number one addiction is food, I would say, oh, like okay. if I want to be really honest, because I think we talked about this a couple of uh, episodes ago. Um, yep. We talked that about your topic. Yeah. yeah Makes sense. Yeah. Like I'm, I exercise, but I also have a hard time controlling my sweet tooth. You know, I like to. Right. So my my addiction is actually food. Uh, I have a problem with uh, with food. As we, as I mentioned in a previous episode, um, it's, uh, you know, I, I do exercise, but I have a sweet tooth. So I like sweet food and I like to, you know, I overindulge mm. in that kind of stuff. And I, I, I eat too much and uh, I eat for taste, not just for nutrition. And so right. I would say food is one of my addictions. Um, another one is Netflix. Um, uh, I have a TV programs. Yeah. Netflix is a, a, a streaming flat platform. And I, I have a really hard time watching one episode of a show. I have to watch the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. And pretty soon <laughs> I, it's very easy watching... to binge binge. Watch yes. Things. We call that binge watching. Right. And I start watching at nine in the morning and all of a sudden it's nine o'clock at night and I'm still, <laughs> Uh, you know, or I start watching at nine o'clock at night and it's five o'clock in the morning and I keep oh, no. telling myself just one more episode, just one more episode. And so I have to really I have to really keep myself in check. I have to watch my uh, watch myself because I do have a very kind of addictive personality when it comes to those kinds of things, food and mm-hmm. watching uh, television programs. Um, one of my recent, uh, addictions as our listeners out there might, uh, recognize is podcasting. You know, I still have, uh, <laughs> I want to, I want to make, uh, I want to record episodes, you know, all the time, every day. And I have to really kind of learn to, uh, in English, we say pace ourselves, you know, don't do mm-hmm. it all today. Do a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit the next day. And if you do that for a long time, that's a much healthier way to, you know, live your life. And so, so it is it is fun recording these and talking to you and, and seeing what the what all of our listeners think. So I understand. Oh, yeah, it's so much fun. I But the problem is, if we if we uh, uploaded uh, 10 episodes a day, uh, our listeners might feel a little bit uh, overwhelmed. <laughs> little like that's too much Jack and Kevin. That's too much Jack and Kevin. So. That's too much Jack and Kevin, even for Jack and Kevin. Even for Jack and Kevin, that's too much Jack and Kevin. Exactly. Um, yeah. And I'm trying to think of like other areas where I, uh, you know, have a kind of a, an addictive personality or things that I uh, really enjoy doing. But I, I, I would say, yeah, in the in the domain of like food and um, um, and things like that, that I, I, I do have a problem. So especially mm. sweet food, sweet food. Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean sweet food is it's sugar. Your body craves it. It's it's made to be addictive. So mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's, do you that's have any good? Do you have any like healthy addictions? You know, like I mean, I think that there is such a thing as a healthy addiction. Like something that you just um that you do uh kind of religiously and it's actually good for you. So, we've talked about exercise not too long ago and over the past couple of years, because of the pandemic, because of COVID, all of my hobbies basically stopped, right? Like I was meeting mm-hmm. friends for different groups or activities. I used to do this acting and, and other things like that. And all of that stopped. And so all of my hobbies, I, I couldn't do them anymore. And that was really hard for me at first. So I had to find hobbies that I could do 
alone at home. And so like we talked about, I found some good home training videos and my home training is something that I try and do every day, which is good. I think, I mean, exercising is always really good, but it drives my wife a little crazy because sometimes I'm like, I got to exercise today. And she's like, you Mm. did it for the last week and a half straight. And it was just a busy day. And I'm like, I need to find 30 minutes. And she's like, just take a break. I'm like, no, I need this. And so it is healthy. I mean, it is good. But at the same time, anything that's an addiction, you know, is can drive other people a little bit crazy. And so yeah. I've had to be like, yeah, I want to exercise, but you're right. I can take a day off. It's not so bad. So it's not a hardcore addiction, you know, but it is something that I that I I almost feel that I have to do every day. And if I don't, I I, I feel like I missed something. So d- exercise has become that a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Me. Uh, as our, our 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 listeners out there may you know may not know because they they can't see us but uh i am i am a uh, a bald a bald man i uh, <laughs> have no hair um one of my addictions in the last couple of years has been buying hats i cannot get enough hats so i'm always online nice. by, like looking at hats and i see another baseball cap that i like and I have to order it and it comes through the mail. And all of a sudden the other day, I was just looking at my hat collection and it's ridiculous. I could wear one new hat every day for a month and not wear the same hat ag- again. So I have to admit, I-, I noticed you're wearing kind of a fisherman style hat today. And I think that's the first time I've seen you wear a not baseball cap. So <laughs> yeah, kind of yes. nice to see something different. Yep. I'm wearing a, uh, a bucket hat. Um, this is uh, not getting a good response from my wife. She is uh, not a fan. Um, I have a similar daughter... hat that my wife also is not a fan of. I don't know why. Yeah. They're comfortable. They're, they're I nice. love it. Uh, I can't get enough of these hats. I bought another one actually to uh, to go along with this one. It's a little bit the colors a little bit different, but uh, I'm not sure I can wear this out in public uh, uh, and and have my wife and my daughter still uh, uh, walk near me. So yep, I, that could be a I problem. Understand that yeah. as well. Well, that's not <laughs> too bad of an addiction. At least hats aren't so expensive. So yeah, um, yeah. Sometimes some some things that we really enjoy are sometimes it's an addiction. Sometimes it's just something that's all right for for us to do. Sometimes it's not so bad. I don't think buying hat, hats. That's I, not so bad. A hat addiction that's is not going to it's not going to kill me. You know, no. Yeah, I, I, might, I think it won't. It might hurt my bank account a little bit, but it's not going to uh, physically do any damage to me. Yeah. So but hats aren't that expensive either. So no, no. Let's go hat shopping someday. <laughs> all right. I'm down. I, nice. I you can't stop me. Yeah. Cool. Well, everybody, thanks for listening. Of course, remember, you can join our WhatsApp group to tell us what you think, ask any questions, join in the discussion as well. And if you're on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, if you could push that five star rating and and give us a review, that would be super helpful to to get more people to study A to Z English with us here. And we'll see you all next time. All right. Bye bye.